Okay, now the controls here on the DigiMemo pad are pretty straightforward. Now if you look down the side here, you've got a little display window, a um, little LED display window. We have a power button. When you click on that and hold it down for just a second, it powers up here. Um, if you take a, a zoom in look here on the display here, there's a little page icon. And this page icon has, um, right now, it has some little hash marks on the inside of it that indicates that there is writing currently on that page. Um, when you start a fresh page, that uh, interior space will be blank. Yeah, we also have a battery light indicator, a little numerical indicator here that shows what page we're on. Currently, I've got 13 pages, um, and we're on page 13. Um, and so that indicator will will update as you add new pages to the uh, to the internal memory, and it will also delete out when you uh, when you delete pages from the memory as well. So in addition to the power button and the display, we also have an up and down arrow key here, which just basically uh, steps you through the um, the pages up and down. Um, there's also an X button here to delete a page, so it'll delete the current page you're on, as well as the final button down here, which is a um, an advance to the next uh, blank page, so it'll skip you right to the end and put you on the next blank page that you have available in the memory. So um, we'll do just that. We'll click advance to the next page, jumps us ahead. You'll see the number has changed to 15, so we actually jumped a couple ahead and this little indicator is blank. And so we'll skip ahead to the next blank page on my DigiMemo pad here and we'll do our little test. Okay, so we now have a blank page here. It's page number 15 in my uh, little internal memory settings right now. And it's a good idea always to um, mark in the bottom corner the, the page number so that uh, as you're flipping through a pad, it's real easy to see which file lines up with the page. Um, the pad of paper that comes with the DigiMemo uh, has a built-in space at the bottom for page numbers and a little listing there to remind you. But if you add a blank pa pad to it at any point in the future, um, you just got to get in the habit of writing the uh, the number in the corner. Now the DigiMemo uh, pen comes with the ability to uh, both be a writing device for um, using this whole thing basically as a drawing tablet. You can connect it straight to your computer and use it as a basically a drawing tablet for your computer. And in that case, you would just leave it with a little pen tip on it. And um, when you're writing, you pop that off fits right here on the back side of the pen and there is a, um, a tip on this pen there's a slight if you touch it you can see that there's a slight little bit of give or feel it you can't really probably see it on the video but there's a little bit of give that that um, pushes down on an indicator in the pen that's that indicates to the pad that there's writing pressure being applied and so when you get close enough to the pad and start writing and apply that little bit of pressure required to get the ink to flow, it's going to register to the pad that a mark is being made and, and it's going to notate the location of the pen on the pad and that's how it's going to track what you're writing. Um, as soon as you make your first mark, it's also going to change the indicator up here to show that there is in fact data stored for this page so you can tell whether um, the pen is working fine or whether you need to change the batteries in the pen. So I'm just going to start off by writing the page number here in the bottom corner. I'm going to be off screen here for just a second. That's page 015. And now the indicator up here has changed to show that there's been writing. And uh, we'll just write a quick sample here. All right, now it's nothing particularly fancy. And you can see by uh, looking at my handwriting that it is not at all particularly clean, but I do print as opposed to writing in longhand. And we'll see how DigiMemo does with this when it uh, does the conversions. Now you can always go back and touch up a letter. So if you have an, uh, an O that's not closed or something that's a little bit unclear, you can go back and change it. The conversion software is not going to see your individual pen strokes, but only the graphic that's created by all of your cumulative pen strokes. So if you go in and retouch it, when the conversion software kicks in, it's only going to see the finished letter shape that you made, and it's going to try and convert that. So you can go back and, uh, and do a few touch-ups if you have, like me, a tendency to write um, letters that are left open and a little bit sloppy. The uh, plug in the device, and it shows up just as a uh, plug-in hard drive. 
So I can go in here and uh, double click and see the files that are all my uh, page capture files, the digital files here. And all these things will just show up. They're associated here with the with the software. So if I just double click on 15, which is the one we just created, it'll pull up the software. I'll expand that to full page. And you'll see there's the digital memo of our page. I can see it was a little bit uh, sloppy. My handwriting isn't very good, but um, but the page is is there and captured. And this is an image, so you could save this out as a PDF file um, if you wanted to preserve the look of it. Um, we'll take it and send it off to the uh, conversion software, which will do the handwriting conversion for us. And uh, we'll select the current page here. So that's that's already highlighted by default. We could also do all pages if we had opened up more than one page. Um, and it's possible you can open up a whole series of pages here on the side and, and convert them all at the same time. Um, but we'll just convert this current page. It's going to open up the conversion software. And it allows you to select uh, text or graphics and text. So if I had done some drawings on this page, it would also import uh, that. And you can see here that uh, my little page number is written at the bottom and here's my text and uh, our options here are to convert the text we can uh, select between handwriting natural writing or all caps depending on how you write and then uh, fine-tune our selection with uh, language and I of course am using US English and then click OK and it's going to run through and do the conversion here real quick and we'll check it for accuracy now it didn't uh, pick up my 15 made the one a slash but um, you can see here if you look side by side this is one of the nice features is it holds your images next to your text so as you read it um, you can make corrections and just refer back to your visuals uh, so it's usually pretty easy to make uh, switches here so the DigiMemo pad is a very handy device for converting written text into word phylos so that screwed up on the word files but that was it so I make my switches here just delete the page number because that was only for reference and there's one capitalization uh, problem here, which we'll go over and correct. And that's done. So that's uh, pretty darn good. It only messed up one word and capitalization on one letter out of what uh, I think you would agree is a pretty sloppily written line of text. I imagine if I was a little slower in my writing and being a little more careful with my my penmanship I probably could have gotten a little bit better accuracy than that and then you can just select um, outport or export to a text file or also to a word file or you can also send it straight into an email and there's uh, your basic text tools up here to fine-tune your selections you can go and modify things create lists um, bold change font size and things like that so if you want to touch up your text you can do it here um, I recommend doing that in a uh, in a separate program and just using this to make sure your text is correct and and check for anything like that uh, like that quick little um, capitalization problem but even that you could let go because if you import all this into Word or import it into OpenOffice um, those pieces of software will run through and do grammar and spell checks for you so it, it can help ease the process there as well and that's really all there is to it. It's a, a great little product. It works as advertised. Actually, it works a little better than advertised, I think, because uh, it really is very easy to uh, to set up and, and pretty darn accurate with its interpretations. And uh, and a great way to speed up your work and, and take offline writing and bring it into the computer and make it editable really quickly.